When you think uh, Clearwater, you probably do think of the white sandy beaches that bring in millions of visitors each year. Pinellas County actually set a record in 2023 with $98 million in hotel bed tax collected. Clearwater alone accounted for more than a quarter of that cash. But it's not just beaches that the city is betting on. The Cle Clearwater is investing millions of dollars to get more people into this area, including into its struggling downtown. And San Tampa Bay's Miguel Octavio joins us live now from Station Square Park as the city is set to mark the first anniversary, Miguel, of its renewed Coachman Park. And leaders say this is just the beginning, but admittedly, they do still face some really big challenges ahead. Yeah, Josh, those are challenges the city is still working on, but hopefully more development will come to this area. And, you know, some weekends at Coachman Park, it is packed full of people because of performances at the Sound. And that's giving some people hope that someday the city could be a destination, not just a place you pass to get to the beach. It's taken a long time. The view of Clearwater today. But that's the way it is with these kinds of projects. Still looks like a dream to Karen Cunningham. It's got a use and it's so beautiful and everything is just um, just perfect. She moved here 43 years ago. Clearwater was the most exciting place to be in Pinellas County. These days. But the vitality needs to be picked up. The energy can feel lifeless compared to the clear water Karen remembers. We could have moved to any one of the cities in Pinellas, but we picked this one because of the downtown. Empty storefronts haunt the downtown. Long gone the parades and small town charm she recalls. Some critics point to the Church of Scientology, a major landowner downtown, and concerns over vacant properties. Clearwater's interim mayor, Brian Onk Sr. Made it somewhat challenging, but we are in negotiations and discussions with them uh, preliminarily to see what we can do to activate all the properties downtown and make it a, a great downtown for everyone. It took the city years to finish its improved waterfront. Now there's the plan voters said yes to in 2022. The Bluffs project could bring a mix of hotel, retail, and apartments. And that's what we want, more activity, more people living down here to uh, help the businesses that are here to attract more businesses and just make downtown flourish and get to where it should be and needs to be. Question is, Will these all be enough? I don't want to um, uh, underestimate how much they would have to do to overcome some of the disadvantages. Dr. Elizabeth Strom of USF says it's an uphill battle, but the more magnets for people, the better. People will come to places if there's things to look at and things to do, so that could be cultural activities. Think the Dali Museum in St. Pete and attractions like its renovated pier and the Riverwalk in Tampa. But Dr. Strom says the less buildings in the private market for the larger community, the less impact. This is a downtown corridor. Commerce must occur. Retail must be available. That is my ultimate goal. But more than six months since the park's opening, officials say they're already seeing the impact. It's been very emotional for me because what I'm seeing now is something that I couldn't even imagine a year ago. And so to see it come to fruition is to me very emotional. I mean, I, I tear up at every great concert. The war continues to develop downtown, but those like Karen. We've got a ways to go. Believe this park can unlock Clearwater's potential. This park is the first step towards putting some vitality back into downtown. There's a lot of stores we need, like I want to see an ice cream shop. <laughs> More than anything, I want to see that. But uh, I think it's the first step. Now, I did reach out to the Church of Scientology for comment, but did not get a response yet. Something we are keeping an eye on. Some Pinellas County facilities are moving out of Clearwater because some of those buildings are outdated. The city is in talks with the county to see how those buildings could best serve everyone here. Reporting from Clearwater, Miguel Octavio, 10 Tampa Bay.